Somebody made a movie based on my t-shirt. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Romeo and Juliet. Experience Shakespeare's legendary tale. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Ready! As you've never seen it before. This mission is going to require maximum stealth. Well, you won't get much stealthier than this. Hello! Can you really pass up seeing Jason Statham as a garden gnome? How about Elton John or Ozzy Osbourne? And that's not all. Patrick Stewart, Maggie Smith, Michael Caine? Not since the Harry Potter franchise has such a stellar cast of British actors been assembled. And just as the Wizards of Hogwarts are positively British, so are garden gnomes. These little guys originated in Germany in the 19th century and have been as rampant as weeds in European gardens ever since, but obviously a lot more adorable. Recently, they've become the subject of fun pranks, most notably traveling gnomes, as made famous by the 2001 film Amelie and later as Travelocity's mascot. And now they're doing Shakespeare. Yes, Romeo and Juliet is a child-friendly adaptation of arguably the Bard's most famous play. It was originally going to be a Disney film, but John Lasseter dropped it due to what he felt were similarities to Toy Story. The film then changed hands several times before winding up back at Disney, this time under their Touchstone banner and produced by Stars Animation, the studio behind Nine and the VeggieTales movies. But the last time an animated film was distributed by Touchstone Pictures, it was The Nightmare Before Christmas. Will they be two for two? Let's find out. Do you think gnomes will catch on in America? Yes. I know it's like a thing in Britain, but not, not in America. They're, they're kind of cute though, I mean, but they're still creepy. Did you like the little guys in this movie, the little gnomes? Yes. Would you want gnomes in your garden? Yes. Uh, yeah? <laughs> so what made you decide to see this movie today? Um, we were off today and we thought it was going to be cute, so. It looked fun to me. Was it? Mm-hmm. It was great. It was touch, it was funny and heartwarming. Who's your favorite character in the movie? The mom and the dad. All of them were funny, but, um... Did anyone do a particularly good job with the voice work in the film? Um, Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> yeah? Oh, that's great. That's cool. What would you say to your friends if they were like, Should I see Romeo and Juliet, Ella? What would you tell them? No. No? They shouldn't see it? Mm. Why not? I Did you like Because... I, um, I could tell them how the movie was. Well, that's perfect. You could act it out for them, right? What do you give it on a 1 to 10? 10. A 10. Oh, really? That's great. 10, probably an 8, because it's really kiddie, but it's, it's great. How much did you like the movie? Did you like it a lot? Like a little? You didn't like it? What did you think? A lot. Looks like another animated film connects with audiences as they give Romeo and Juliet a 9.5. And it's Oscar season! Be sure to check out all of Beyond the Trailer's Oscar programming as well as vote in our Oscar poll by going to IndieMobile.com slash BTT Oscar vote. One lucky voter will be selected at random to win a $100 AMC gift card. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25 and I hope you'll go Beyond the Trailer for these other top movies.